All right, y'all. I'm doing this video on YouTube. This is my 1986 Honda Helix. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about people and their helixes. Well, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and we've been putting sounds and systems and stuff on bikes since back in the 80s. But this how we do. See, mine is all Kimwood on it. And um, like I said, as you can see, it's the 86, the Pearl White, the first year that it was made. And um, bike is pretty much clean. But I had to put my little Kimwood logo up on the dash. I currently don't live in Detroit, but I take it back to Detroit with me a lot of times. I live in Illinois because of my job, but here y'all go. As you can see, you see my mileage. I only got 8,247. Um, I got the radio pause right now, but it's a Kenwood. As you see, it's a Kenwood radio. I had the uh, Honda radio, the Honda, the original uh, Honda Helix radio that came. It came with a Kenwood. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like it's a little hole right here. My finger is going in the hole, but I took that off and put my own. So there's some three and a half inch exa lines up under here, up under the grills right here. And um, like I said, uh, I have, uh, see my seat is nice and clean. I have seven by 10 inch Kenwoods. These Kenwoods, uh, these are the new ones. They only had them over in like Australia and overseas and this guy in California managed to get them in, but <clears throat> let me see. See if I can get a little better lighting if I let this garage door up. It's getting dark outside and it's raining, but <clears throat> As you can see those are tin woods. And hold up one second, I'm opening up the trunk. And then if you look in the trunk, boy, wait a minute, I got something so y'all can see it a little better. Got a little light. Now you can see where I told you I unhooked the Honda radio and it had the thumb control. Then in the grill, you see those are grills, but it got Kenwood Exa lines up underneath it. Like I said, you can see those are, boy, those are Kenwoods, seven by tens. This is the Kenwood Exa line amp that I'm using to run it. It's the X302. And like I said, pretty clean. I got the factory backrest, the original backrest. You know, just put brand new bridge stones on it. I did change my rims. Those, the original ones, like that came out in an 86, but I like the newer style aluminum rims. And these are it. Found some and threw those on there front and back, put a fresh set of bridge stones on it. And like I said, it also, like I said, our the system, oh, the system sounds uh, sounds pretty good. You know, it thumps actually. Let me uh, see. It's kind of on video, so you can't really get the full effect. But I don't want to play it too long, too. You know how the music police be. But like I said. It, Like I said, it really, really, really is loud. 
But like I said, you see, it's a pretty clean bike. You know, got the back uh, wing on it. You know, it lights up when you um, when you press the brake, that top brake light, it lights up as you see, along with the brake light. You know, the light usually on, I got my light off. I don't keep my light on in the daytime, but you know, light does work. I put a switch on there. But everybody else was showing their helixes and whenever people see it, they be so shocked when they see it here in Illinois or whatever. So I had to put mine on there, let people see how we do it in Detroit. So that's my video.